Only the top eight players in the world can qualify for the Barclays ATP World Tour Finals at the O2. And the race to London is burning white hot. Currently just outside automatic qualification is Spain's Nicolas Almagro in 10th. The clay court specialist has won two titles on the red dirt this season. An active alternate at last year's Barclays ATP World Tour Finals, Serbia's Janko Tipsadovic is ninth. His one title so far this year came in Stuttgart. In the first of the eight automatic qualifying berths is Joe Wilfred Songa. Beaten finalist last year, the French number one will be hoping to go one better this time around. The 2009 Barclays ATP World Tour Finals runner-up, Juan Martín del Potro, is currently in seventh. The Argentinian has won two titles so far this year. In sixth, Thomas Berdych of the Czech Republic. Having won a title on an indoor hard surface already this year, there could be more of the same at the O2. Into the top five, and Spain's David Ferrer is looking good for qualification after winning five titles across three different surfaces so far in 2012. With his qualification confirmed, fourth place belongs to Rafael Nadal, who's won four titles on outdoor clay, culminating with that record-breaking seventh Roland Garros title. In third, it's this year's US Open champion, Andy Murray. Could that passionate home support help the Britain to the season finale crown? In second place, it's Roger Federer, whose Barclays ATP World Tour Finals record is second to none. He's won the event an incredible six times. But leading the way, it's Novak Djokovic. That third crown in Beijing is the Serbs' fourth title of the season. He might just be the form player heading into the O2. Competition will be fierce at the Barclays ATP World Tour Finals and will be there every step of the way. This year, it all ends here. Next week on ATP World Tour Uncovered, presented by Rio, it's time to shine at the Shanghai Rolex Masters. And we meet Zhang, a Chinese player with some very big ambitions. Don't forget to log on to atpworldtour.com for your 24-7 breaking news and talk with us on Facebook and Twitter. See you next week.